Today, let's talk about the comparable and comparator interfaces in Java for sorting objects. Let's say we have a class called person with attributes like name and age. Now, if we want to sort a list of person objects based on their natural ordering, we can implement the comparable interface in the person class. In this example, we implement the compare to method to compare person objects based on their age. The method returns a negative value if this object is younger, zero if they are the same age, and a positive value if this object is older. Now, let's say we want to sort the person objects based on their names or any other custom criterion. We can use the comparator interface. In this example, we create a separate class person name comparator that implements the compare method. It compares person objects based on their names using the compare to method of the string class. So, to summarize, use the comparable interface for natural ordering within a class, and use the comparator interface for custom or multiple sorting criteria. Thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful.